and all this week we've been preparing for our big move to Media City and getting ready to say goodbye to this old place. Yeah, to mark the big event, our showbiz queen Cal has been looking back at some of the great people and programmes to grace the Key Street Studios. Well, tonight she's looking forward to life in our new home at Media City. So take it away, Cal. Well, after 40 years of transmitting from Studio 2 at Granada Television in Manchester, the time has come for Granada Reports to say goodbye to Key Street and hello to an exciting new world, our brand new home over at Media City in Salford. The decision to move our, our Manchester site from Key Street to Salford Keys, Media City, is a big, important step for ITV. Uh, the heritage of programmes and production in Manchester is a very important part of what we do. And if we're going to succeed in that, then we have to have really modern, up-to-date facilities to make that possible. Well, onwards and upwards, but it would be a sad time as well. It's a sweet, really, uh, in that life must go on. Each generation thinks it's the generation, and then next thing you know, you blink your eye and you're the old generation and the next lot are coming through and long may that continue. If you ever moved to London, I think we'd be in dangerous territory. But as long as people talk proper, you'd be all right. <laughs> I think it's right. Yes, I can feel nostalgic, but it is old. I'm sad that it's going. But moving to Media City has got definitely an invigorating feel of moving into the 21st century. It will be very much like saying goodbye to an old friend. Now we're moving forward into a really good and exciting new era, which uh, we will embrace. I think Media City's got so much potential. I mean, it's uh, tech, in terms of its technology, it's, it's the best place in, in Britain. Judy, do you think you should embrace the change? Probably not, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, yes, you, you have to, as Richard says, but to me, it's a shame. It, it's just a shame. Sure, when this place was built, you know, in the 50s, and people, they looked at it maybe a bit askance and wondered really if that's what the future was. You know, it is an identifiable building. You can find your way around it. Whereas if you go to any of the big BBC studios, you get totally lost. Well, give it time. And even LWT, the same. Give it time, Judy. Don't yeah. be sounding deluvian. But, you know, it's just a building. Long live Granada. We're moving over to the new building and, and there'll be new and better shows made there. Do you think it's time for a change then? Oh, I hate change. I do. I hate change, but, you know, we've got to have it. So let's go with it. This had its day and it was a great day. Yeah. And uh, I'm very grateful for it and I had a lovely time. I'm quite excited about Media City and all that it's going to bring and the new generation of it. We're very, very lucky to be able to live so close to it. I love this building. You know, I am sentimental about leaving it because it stands for so much fun that we've all had here. Of course, I'll miss it. And if we didn't miss it, it would mean that we haven't cared about what we've done here. ITV in the Northwest will be as committed and passionate about this region as it's ever been. It just won't be in this old building. It'll be in a shiny new one at Media City. <laughs> As long as the heart of the people who make the shows is there, as long as that goes to Salford, we'll be all right, kid. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, you. No, no, no you. you. I'll walk out of here and I'll think I never paid for that Twix. Yeah, thanks to all the people who helped us put that together and thanks, of course, to all of the people who've appeared on our programmes in this wonderful studio and you can see all three of Cal's brilliant pieces paying tribute to our Granada Key Street years on our website right now. That's itv.com slash Granada, itv.com slash Granada.